Uh, well, the city of Elkhart and the mayor hold a monthly Let's Talk Tuesday event. This allows citizens to get updates on the city and have their questions answered. And following last week's storms that saw an EF1 tornado touch down in Elkhart, there was a great turnout for this week's Talk Tuesday. There are a lot of residents looking for information. Our Walid Alamla was there tonight and joins us now in studio. So Walid, the event was well attended? Yes, very, guys. I spoke with officials who say this was one of the most well attended events in recent months and it was one of the more important ones with heads from many different apartments across the city giving updates and damages about the storms that hit the area. After last week's storms turned EF1 tornado ripped through Elkhart County, Mayor Rod Robertson addressed the city the very same day. And today at the Elkhart County Health Department building, he did the same. We were very blessed uh, that uh, there weren't any fatalities or, or injuries reported, but the property damage was extensive. Uh, it has been a, a yeoman's job uh, working 24-7 um, uh, to get us to a point at which uh, those neighborhoods are back to some kind of normalcy. Normalcy will be hard to find for many, with city officials citing over 80 homes with damage, including 9 homes that are totally damaged and 11 homes with major damage. But the city is getting to work. The state gave us a special permit to remove the debris from that area that was so intense. Uh, as of today, we believe we have 50% of the debris across the tornadoes as, as far as trees are concerned. And these Let's Talk Tuesday events are opening up conversations for citizens, allowing them to get answers to prepare for the next possible tornado. And that includes getting a much needed rundown on the city storm sirens. The city currently has 11 sirens and they, they uh, are here to warn citizens to take shelter. So if you're inside your home, the chances are you're not going to hear that. And of course, Let's Talk Tuesdays are about ways the citizens can receive help too, especially in this time of need. The Red Cross is here, we, the state is here, we have a team called COAD, which is a group of people who actually coordinate the other services that are happening. And then of course all the local um, charities and um, I mean from people offering dollars to help to man hours. It's just been an overwhelming um, and it just kind of shows the kind of place we live in. An Elkhart official stressed that if you are still in need of help, you can contact 211 or 311 for assist assistance with tree and debris removal. Waleed Alamla with the Let's Talk Tuesday story tonight. Thank you, Waleed. Well, the presence of